Hi and welcome to my second YouTube video. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to my first one in the sense that it deals largely with this idea of social pigeonholing. Um, I had sort of intended to do a follow-up one, just sort of a, a ramble about my own personal experiences with um, sort of prejudice or um, erroneous sort of preconceived ideas. Um, if people are, uh, are really that interested, I, I can do one, um, though I, I'm not really sure um, quite what people would gain from that other than, oh, that's another bit about him. Um, so I'll, I'll put that idea to one side for the minute. Um, maybe come back to it if I, I completely run dry of ideas for future videos at a later stage. Um, so yeah, what I wanted to talk about in this video is um, this, this, this sort of idea of um, roles that we take up within a group. Um, I think to a certain extent in any social group there is a tendency for people to, to take on a certain sort of role, uh, almost a, a self-imposed, again, pigeonholing. Um, for example, as from my own point of view, um, I have a slight tendency to almost deliberately sort of sort of become the group's shoulder to cry on, um, as it were. Um, and one thing struck me yesterday evening when I was having a conversation um, with a, a friend of mine I hadn't spoken to in a little while um, over MSN, um, who's been going through a bit of a rough time lately and just sort of generally really. Um, so it, it was one of those sort of typical um, sort of conversations where where one person is is the friend in distress and then the other is doing their best to, to be a sort of amateur counsellor um, and just just give as far as they can some some friendly advice or their analysis of the situation um, and what struck me is the extent to which this this kind of pigeonholing almost becomes a, a self in, a, a self-fulfilling prophecy because as a result of the fact that I sort of seek out, I guess, slightly more vulnerable people or um, people with, you know, unresolved issues or, or, or um, conflicts, um, what that's then done is, is made me feel a little uneasy when there isn't anything to resolve. Um, in the sense that having kind of defined myself now as any given group's um, sort of, I don't know, friendly face, some the person you can go to in a crisis, I, I sort of struggle to think of anything to say to people when there isn't a crisis either of my own or theirs to, to talk about. I, I seem to have lost the ability just to chit-chat. Um, yeah, and, and so kind of what I was wondering about from you guys, um, if anyone's actually watching this, um, is sort of what uh, what kind of positions within a group you tend to seek out, um, and whether you think doing that has changed you in any way, um, and whether it has sort of become a self-fulfilling prophecy. I mean, I, I know, year, you know years ago I, I didn't used to be this way. I, I could chat to people perfectly happily and normally um, about nothing much um, you know, with, with complete ease. Um, so yeah, cl clearly this, this, this fact that I, I put myself out there in this pigeonhole now means I, I, I sort of have become that way anyway. Um, so as I said, it's a sort of self-fulfilling prophecy. So, yeah, um, it would be interesting to hear what what sort of 
your experiences are of that. Um, yeah. Do I have anything else to say? Um, yeah, just a, a, another kind of thought um, about things to do with this channel. Um, I might well involve some poetry at some point. I don't know whether any of you are, are interested in poetry or, or anything of that sort. Um, unfortunately, it is a rather sort of self-indulgent emo habit that I, not that I classify myself as an emo, but yeah, I sort of picked it up as, a, as an angsty habit as a teenager. Um, and it seems to be the, the, the one way in which I fulfill myself creatively um, and still is a reasonably big part of my life. So, yeah, that will probably feature at some point um, just me reading out some some stuff I've written or, I don't know, maybe even walking you through kind of my process when I write or, or I don't know, just sort of writing something and, and videoing that, the actual writing of it. Um, yeah, so that might be kind of different. Um, I know there are plenty of people on YouTube that you know, sing or dance or whatever, but I don't think I've come across... Um, uh, I mean, admittedly, I haven't, I haven't looked for one, but you know, it, in the people's videos that I've, I've looked at, there, there are plenty of singers, but I haven't come across anyone reciting poetry yet. Um, yeah, so that's one one thought. Um, I have had a video request to do sort of something political, uh, which I might do tomorrow or Thursday. Um, so we'll see. So yeah, that's probably enough of, of me rambling. Um, if I can think of anything else to say, I might do another one this evening. It doesn't really feel like I've said much in this one, for which I apologise. Um, but then I didn't really say much in the last one, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. So, yeah, um, have a good day, and see you around, I guess.